Hey guys, Greasy Bear here, and today I want to show you a little something that I did here. Um, a lot of people are very interested in how I'm doing my lighting and how I get it to look so good. And what I want to do is I want to show you how I'm doing this. So I have this fog box. <coughs> Excuse me, right now you can't see it. If I turn the visibility to solid, you'll see that there's a box around the entire scene. Okay, and the reason why is because I'm putting my volumetrics in this box. So basically, I'm making a box here and I'm putting a volume scatter with these settings on it, and that's it. So, if I was to show you this, um, if I go back to my wireframe and to my camera view, uh, I'm in EV. If I go into my preview mode <coughs> excuse me you'll see the fog there's one light behind the the soldier's head and the rest is just volumetrics giving it that whole entire look as you can see right there so if I was to turn off the fog you know you wouldn't really see nothing at all you know, you're basically just seeing them standing in a field with a, a light rim, a rim light around them. So what I'm doing to make this look more uh, enhanced is I'm putting the fog here. So let me show you how I'm doing that. Okay. So I'm going to click on the fog. And I'm going to go back to show it to you. So basically, I'm going, now I'm going to delete it. And then basically, I'm going to add a cube right where it's at. And I'm basically just going to expand it so it covers the scene. It gives it a lot. I can move it up a little bit and then, you know, scale it on the Z so it's not so, so high. But, you know, something to that area. And we want to cover the car. So uh, scale that on the Y a little bit. So it's about like that. And then you're going to go to your camera view and you want to make sure that, uh, you know, that the scene is inside the box as you can see that it is. So and then I'm going to go to my, my view visibility on the viewport display. And we're going to kick this to wire. And then I'm going to add a new material. And the BSDF shader I'm going to delete. And I'm just going to add a shader volume scatter. And I'm going to plug it into volume. And my settings was 0.2. And this was 0.8. And when I turn this on, I should have somewhat of the same exact kind of. There you go. So there's the setting from scratch. And as you see, as I tilt it around, you can see the box. So if I move the light out of the box, it, it doesn't have as much effect you see that there's no there's no serious glow i mean it still works and all but you get it more when it's in the in the fog in the fog it gets a lot more brighter out there and that single light just sitting there gives it so much impact you know just for that it's it's really cool it looks really nice so i just wanted to show you how you do that and it's Real simple. It's a cheat. Maybe it's maybe it's for you. Maybe it's not for you. But a lot of people have been asking me, how do I do that lighting like that and get it to look so good? And um, this is one of the examples that I use. These are one of the one of the ideas that I do. But it works out great, as you can see. All right. So thanks for watching, and I hope this video helped you guys out. <laughs> okay. Next time. Take care. Bye bye.